Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Capricorn. Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so Spirit's got a lot to say here for Capricorn. Something's coming forward here. Oh, okay. So we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the Hangman in reverse. Okay, so this is Neptune energy. Let's see. What else we got here? That was kind of that way. Ooh, we have the Emperor here in the upright. Okay, something's coming. Um, somebody hasn't changed their perspective about something. They could be held back. This is somebody that is kind of maybe repeating a lesson here. Could be an unwelcome change or some type of hidden agenda here. And with the Eight of Cups, I kind of feel like this is fear of the unknown. And this has to do with this Emperor or you have the fear of the unknown when it comes to an Emperor. Maybe meeting someone new or worried about what's coming in for you here. Hmm. This emperor could be repeating a lesson as well here. Could be you. Take it how it resonates. Somebody's hanging on to somebody here, though. What's the heart of the reading here? What is the heart of the reading? Whoa, okay. Um, I'm not sure how to take that. That's right on the fence. So I'm going to put it back as well. I'm putting them all back. There was quite a few there. What's the heart of the reading? If it's meant to come out, it will. We have the High Priestess, so I feel like you're very intuitive, you see love, partnership, or this Emperor does, this Emperor is holding on to this High Priestess when it comes to a partnership or a love connection, wow there's a lot of cards coming out here. So we have boundaries here and we have the star. Okay, so maybe you are on a platform getting recognition. You might be this emperor's wish fulfillment. I feel like you're in the flow, you're progressing, you got your boundaries now when it comes to love. You're not going to give too much of yourself. I feel like maybe you're holding back. Huh, we have <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. So you've learned something here. <laughs> I feel like you've learned your lesson. And we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this person maybe is given up on kind of coming forward. They may be bored or feeling pessimistic or kind of not feeling like they want to come forward just yet. Maybe they need to learn something here because with the hangman, the perspective is in the reverse. So they're not seeing something that perhaps they're meant to be seeing. This has to do with imagination. I'm kind of feeling like it's Stalling, stalking, maybe selfish reasons. Eight of Cups, I mean, that's kind of like that low self worth. Maybe they're feeling like they are, um, I guess you want, I want to say they're kind of like. emotionally unavailable. I, I feel like they're, huh, they don't have a lot of self-worth. They may feel like you're too good for them or you, they're not good enough for you. Let's have a look at what the cards have to say here. Oh, we have the Empress on the bottom of the deck here. 
just want to make sure I got all the cards. <laughs> what is the hangman in reverse here for Capricorn? Somebody is looking, maybe a Leo here. They're getting the courage here when it comes to something here. They they may be afraid of change here. What is the Eight of Cups in reverse? This low self-worth here. Hmm. I see. Hmm. <laughs> so there may have been some kind of I want to say some romantic illusion, possibly cheating, waste of talents, and this is coming out. I feel like it's more cheating. This person may have cheated on you, this emperor. What's the emperor? Is he a new person or old? I wonder. Emperor. He's just working. What is he working on? What is he working on? Hmm. Well, he's not making a choice here. He may not have the choice. You might have that choice of whether you're going to take this person back or not. What are they holding on to here with the Four of Pentacles? What are they holding on to? Mm. That is right on the fence. And that's the hangman. <laughs> it could be a change in perspective. They might be looking at things differently. And they don't want you to walk away with the Eight of Cups. What's the High Priestess? Huh, the Emperor. He may be very intuitive as well. He may see things or connect with spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What is what is his intuition telling the emperor? <laughs> to give you a coin, to have a new beginning here. This may even be coming from the divine. The path is clear there. What's the two of cups here? Mm, the Hierophant in reverse. So you may have divorced this person. This may be somebody you were already with. This could be somebody that's unconventional when it's a non-traditional, maybe doesn't want to get married or is not willing to get married again or maybe they haven't been married before but they may not want to ever get married. That piece of paper um, may not be that important to them. The King of Swords, okay, so there, I kind of feel like that there's a little bit of manipulation here. They may be wanting to control the narrative. There's some type of dictating here, kind of. Let's see. Yeah. Something's coming to light here about some boundaries, possibly standing up for what you believe in. Maybe they don't believe in what you believe. And that's right on the fence. They're trying to make a decision here. What is the decision? Mm. Freedom and possibly maybe they've gotten divorced here. But the Hierophant in reverse because it could mean that they, they're divorced as well, right? So, that's Taurus energy. Hmm. They're not using their intuition. Or there could have been cheating here. I kind of feel like this is more um, cheating or secrets kind of like um, maybe even cold hidden intentions yeah, deceit, lies secrets, something here the devil in reverse okay and that's Capricorn energy I kind of feel like um, this is this is something that's adultery I'm feeling
I kind of feeling like somebody's releasing somebody here. Life shattering ending here. This could be an ending. What is the star? Mm, that wanted to come out. Mm, this has to do with your future, Capricorn. You may be the star and be getting public recognition, or you're just this wish fulfillment for this person. Yeah, they really want to bring in something for you. They may have learned something here with the Page of Pentacles, or you have. You may have learned, because you have the Page of Pentacles here as well. You're learning a lot from this. I'm feeling like this person maybe is trying to get divorced here to come into union with you. They may be with somebody right now and they need to come correctly. What is this Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, Knight of Swords. They are rushing in. Um, their armor on to fight for your hand in <laughs> I kind of feel like that um, at all costs you know okay they may be held back here from coming forward until yeah you're not waiting for this person you're already moving on. You've accepted something and you're moving forward. I kind of feel like this may be unexpected that this person comes in. It may be not who you think it's that it is, okay? You may think it's somebody, but it may not even be that person. So let's get the kippy dippy. Ah, you may have been the gift here. What's the strength card here? Yeah, this person is official person. So they may be military. They may be uh, the police or along those lines. I mean, it could be naval, natal. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it could be a naval officer. It could be um, anyone that's injustice so lawyer could be a judge it could, it's official somebody official okay so this I, I feel like this is this emperor it could be you um what's the moon in reverse <laughs> oh i almost put in my coffee cup yeah this is an ending that somebody wants to do here they're working on ending some type of decision they made here Eight of Cups in reverse. That's kind of like that fear of change, that low self-worth that I have felt. What's the lovers? Yeah, there's whoever this is, or maybe you saw them as a false person, or they saw this person they were with that they wanted to get divorced with here. Because it, <laughs> it looks like this person wants to give the high priestess a... A pentacle okay and it looks like they divorced somebody here a high priestess in reverse so they may have given someone else the offer instead of you okay they're holding on to you here let's see here what's the page of pentacles oh no, let's look at the Two of Swords, please, with the Sun card. Two of Swords with the Sun card. Because, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I think I saved it. I, I'll dry it off a little bit here. <laughs> it's the Lover's card. Can you believe it? it flew right into my cup. Dang. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that. We have community and we have the marriage that's sticking up here. Well, it looks like these cards aren't supposed to be like, oh, so it's lovers and marriage here. Community, thoughts, and change in the reverse. Well, community's not, but thoughts and change are in reverse here. Okay, so. All right. 
So they're hanging on to you. There's making a choice about a marriage here. Now, whether that's with you or someone else, because they want to give a pentacle, I feel like, to you. They feel like the person they're with is a false person. And they're working on getting out of this marriage, possibly, here. What is the Two of Cups here? Yeah, they're, you're... You're supposed to go on a journey with this emperor here. What is the two of cups? Oh, that's what I just did. So what is the ace of pentacles? Concern. Somebody is concerned about this. Why? High honor. So somebody may not see you in high honor here. It could be their family. It could be their family. Friends, what's this sun card and a choice? Oh, great fortune in reverse. Hmm, huh. somebody might think that you're just all about wanting to have their money. Hmm, what's the page of pentacles? Oh, we have message of concern in reverse here. I didn't even see that. Oh, and then we have thief. Yeah. Somebody may have said to this person, they might be worried about that. Maybe this false person was trying to get their money, but this might be what they want to do to you, so be careful. With the star, your future, and a pentacle here, or news about a thief, but you're not concerned about this. Something came to light here. Standing up for what they believe in with great fortune in reverse. So they may not get any money from, the, there may have been a prenup here. Prenup. What's the chariot in reverse? Yeah, this is a wealthy man. <laughs> so it's about money. People may feel he may feel like he can't get close to people because it's all about them wanting their money. And I kind of feel like you're not like that. I feel like you're you're wanting love. I'm really feeling that love part. Yeah. This wealthy man may be in bad health. Let's see, what is this going on? Let's get the because there is love here in marriage. Okay, playfulness is in reverse. So right now they're not even having fun. They're not they're not having a good time. They're not there's no romance. There's no I feel like this whatever they're in is kind of dead to them with the coffin there. It's not it's not something they're gonna continue doing. With the ten there, it's a an ending. Stay optimistic about your love life. So I feel like there may be positive thinking here very soon. And then release your ex is in reverse. So I feel like very soon they will release the sex, but they haven't yet. Okay. What's the marriage and lovers here? Attraction and codependency. So they may have been attracted to this person. But it's codependency here. They're hanging on to them and haven't let, they're not letting go, but they're seeing a different, their perspective may be changing here because it's on the fence about this marriage. Okay, I feel like they're at the nine now. Um, I don't think it's going to be very, it looks like it's going to be sooner because if they're at the 9, it's not going to take much to get to the 10, where 10 is an ending. What is the concern in no high honor? So somebody is not in high honor. Getting to know each other. And I feel that's in reverse. So I feel like this is... The, they don't want to know. They don't want... This is the emperor. He's using his intuition here. It's possible that... He is maybe getting in touch with spirituality or has gifts here. Capricorn. What is the journey here? Oh, yeah, wedding in reverse. It was almost, almost um, 
on the fence almost but it was enough turned that it was coming up negative so they haven't divorced this person yet it's part of their journey here to go through some type of divorce but this person is not going to get a lot of money it looks like you deserve love they may not feel like they deserve love right out um that this person doesn't they see them as a thief here all about the money what's the thief yeah free yourself <laughs> So it's free yourself from this person, I feel. It, it might be that this person only got with them to have their money. They may not have been concerned in the past, but I feel like they're trying to get out of that to come to you. What's the wealthy man here? Ooh, the stability here. This could be the one is in reverse. So he's not feeling like this person is the person he should be marrying or has been. Yeah, he's he's trying to get free here. I feel like he wants to come forward to someone else, but he's maybe in bad health right now. Worth waiting for in reverse. So... <laughs> This is uh, it's kind of confusing here because it's saying he wants to divorce, but he hasn't yet. He's still in the go of that, so it's it's not official yet. And he doesn't feel this person is the right person to be spending his life with. He may have settled, so yeah, he might be tuning into his higher calling. He may have realized that he's meant to be doing something here. And this may have had a big turnaround for him. I feel like it's changed this whole perspective and that perspective card is here. Trying to figure out what he needs to see with the hangman. This perspective is on the fence. There may be some codependency here, codependency issues now. This person could be codependent, or he could be, or you could be. Let's see. Someone wants your attention, love, and affection. They love you. So this person that this person may be with maybe does love them, but I don't feel like they have the same love in return. More than one suitor. Choose wisely. So I feel like... <laughs> He may have met you or saw you online, wants to meet you, or knows who you are from your past, and maybe you weren't available back then. He's trying to get available. I shouldn't say he, because it could be a her. I want to talk to you, please. So... I feel like there's some attraction here and wanting to come forward. What is this getting to know each other in reverse? You were my blessing, my wish for love, and I chose wrong. So this could be somebody you knew from the past that's coming back. Maybe they chose someone else instead of you um, at some point in their life. Have faith in your abilities and purge negative energy here. What's wedding in reverse here? What's the wedding in reverse? Magnetize yourself. So I feel like this is going to change their whole energy. If this isn't you, this is your person, okay? They may be trying to get out of divorce. Maybe you are, okay? Take it however it resonates for you. But you're you're meant to magnetize yourself in order to have what's meant for you come in. And that energy and that positive energy is going to really attract who you're meant to attract. I feel like you're going to feel this person coming in here. What's this? You deserve love in reverse. Somebody needs to work on their self-love. They may feel like they're not good enough for you. Mm. Yeah, your choices may alter your existence. Choose wisely. If they 
do not go through with this and free themselves. Or if this is you and you're not meant to be with this person and you decide to stay, it could change everything. There is a there's good news that will make you so happy. So <laughs> Wow, and free yourself is next. What is free yourself here? <laughs> you have free will, right? To make your own decisions. So don't go outside of yourself. Look within and follow your heart. And you have free will. So it doesn't matter if somebody else doesn't want you to do something or is trying to persuade you not to do something. If it's something you're feeling you must do, I feel like you're going to move ahead with that. You were seen as a screw up of the family, but now you're on top. And you may have a habit of going and asking others about what you I don't know what to do and you might get a lot of advice okay so instead of listening to other people I feel like you need to go in and do some self purging work where you're doing your shadow work from whatever in your past may be plaguing you that you've been dragging along with you to every relationship Assess your path and plant new seeds. <laughs> and that was the last card here on this could be the one in reverse. So I feel like you you know this is not the right person if this is you going through this. And if this is your person coming in, this is what they're going through at this point. You might be sitting there... Um, you're done all your work, you've purged what you need to purge, you're just living your life and you're happily single or you may need to walk away from somebody so take how it resonates. Whatever it is, whoever is needing to assess their path and plant new seeds to manifest what they really truly want in your life. So if you've never really thought of it, what do I really want in my life? What kind of life do I actually want to live? And working towards that and having a different mindset. Okay. <laughs> Shocking and sudden, sudden, but it's temporary. You will bounce back. So I feel like this is to do with some comfort zone here too. Should I, would I, could a type of energy of whether or not to walk away from somebody and move towards somebody that they have maybe a crush on or just getting out of something and then eventually um, meeting somebody new. So, but there's bad health here. So I feel like may not end up meeting this person in the hospital or at a doctor's office or maybe the dentist or however whatever is plaguing them you're going to maybe at the lab when you're doing some blood work or <laughs> you know um, but I feel like it might even be a sudden meeting that you meet this person and it's going to be a bit of a shock. Maybe you haven't seen this person in a long time. Maybe it's a um, somebody you kind of know, like an acquaintance. You know, it's not a friend, but it's an acquaintance. You've met them through someone else, and you you know their name, or maybe you've forgotten their name. Whatever it was, maybe once or twice you've met this person. So I kind of feel like this is what this sudden shock is going to be and this might actually help you make your decision Capricorn I feel like there is a major decision here because this could change everything depending on what choice you make here so I think that was all I was gonna do for Capricorn so you're gonna have to use your intuition here because that was in the heart of the reading with the high priestess okay
And if you are the emperor, because you can still be a woman and be the emperor because you're just showing up in your masculine side because we all have a feminine side and a masculine side, right? So I kind of feel like this is somebody that is really going to change everything about which direction you're going to go in, okay? So... I wish you all the best, Capricorn. <laughs> so please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up if you like what we're doing here. And stay blessed. We'll see you next time. All right. Later.